Hi Taurus, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. So this reading is for anybody that you have a connection with, has to be an actual connection. If you like somebody and you have, they have no clue who you are, you may want to watch the singles reading I do every month, who's coming towards you. This has to be a connection where you both know each other in some way and it's some type of connection, can be any type of connection, it can be an ex, can be someone you're married to, dating, um, you crushing on each other, but you're not together. Uh, whatever the situation, um, an actual connection. So we'll see what's going on here. We're going to look into um, how you are both feeling about each other and the connection, what your actual situation is, advice for the situation, possible outcome, all clarified with tarot and oracles. So stick out for the whole thing and we'll see what messages we get for you give you some um, clarity on what you need to know. If you clicked on it, then something in here is for you. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Switch and flip-flop the energies anytime you see fit. If you think, no, that's them, and then that's me, then please do that at any time. All right, so Taurus, let's see what's going on here in love. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy December. Okay, so this is for any time you see this, obviously it's going to be out early before December. So this is for whenever you see this, tell whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless on my channel. So if you like to go back and watch past playlists, um, links are below for Taurus playlists. Okay, Taurus, let's see what's going on. So with this deck here, if you don't resonate with, with what comes out here, totally fine. You get a place... Um, a planet, <laughs> sign or element, Taurus. What do we have for Taurus spirit, please? Other than that one, let's see what we have. You ready? Jupiter, and Jupiter is Sagittarius, I believe. So if you are not dealing with a Sagittarius, or maybe you have Sag in your chart, or somebody else has Sag in their chart somewhere, uh, Jupiter is all about luck, expansion, faith, optimism, spirituality, joy, and prosperity. So we'll see how that plays into your reading here, Taurus. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here, Taurus, is get an overall energy between you and your person, who you're thinking about at this time. What is the overall love energy between you and your person, Taurus, who you are thinking about at this time what is the love energy right now between Taurus this is a general collective reading it's not a personal reading so please keep that in mind so not every single part will resonate with every single person and if um, you are subscribed and you see the, say oh gee this doesn't resonate and then you decide to unsubscribe I would say you know please hold off for future readings um, not every single reading I do will resonate with you every single time I subscribe to plenty of readers and I never uh, resonate with them every single time, but I don't unsubscribe because I understand that every reading is for me. Okay, so oh, that's your card. What is the overall energy between you and your person? Harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity. And we have three there, which is about working together, teamwork, collaboration, compromise. So I'm thinking... Power, self-confidence, and productivity. So I'm getting the sense here that maybe you and your partner had to, if you're together, whatever your situation is, um, maybe there's things you had to work on, work on together, um, like doing that teamwork, collaboration, compromise with one another to bring harmony back into your connection, to bring the power back into your connection. And now it's like a more productive connection between the two of you. And with that Jupiter energy, you know, expansion, like expanding the connection, uh, bringing, you know, faith and optimism back in, and maybe even bringing spirituality into it. Maybe it's really helped the connection also. And now it's more joyful and prosperous. So, okay, for some of you. So we'll see. Wow. So I just noticed, like, there's a star. It looks like a star shape. On her chest so I mean some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius uh, star does represent uh, Aquarius in the tarot all right I just feel like working together 
uh, will make the um, connection much more productive, much more harmonious. So let's get uh, Taurus. What I'm going to do now, if you're not familiar with this love connection reading, is I'm going to put you on this side, your person on this side. One card here for each how you are feeling about each other and the connection. And we'll clarify the rest of the reading with tarot. But if you feel like, well, this side's me and that's them, then please do switch anytime. Okay, so this is how you are feeling about the connection. Ganesha, Ganesha, clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. And we have three and four, three and one, which is four, which is about stability. So clearing away obstacles. I think, yes, working together, teamwork, collaboration, clearing away obstacles, things that were not serving this connection. Now it's much more, like I said, harmonious and uh, productive. Maybe guidance, you know, maybe you've seeked out professional guidance or guidance of a wise person or something like that, or even watching tarot readings or something like that, you know. But I feel like protection here that this connection could be divinely protected also. So let's see how your person's feeling. A hidden gift, sadness, an ending, a new beginning. And we have nine there. So nine, um, I feel like there was a hidden gift inside this person. And it was hidden beneath all the obstacles that were um, keeping you two from being harmonious together. And I think they felt very sad about that. And maybe they thought about ending it and just going off on their own for a new beginning because maybe they thought, you know, just this isn't, this just isn't working. But with the three there, I feel like you decide to come back together and really work on this and bring stability back in. Again, like I said, you could be getting professional guidance of some kind or something like that. Um, wise counsel or something to really help bind you back together, bring you back together. And it's like you see this person in a whole new way, in a whole new light. And like, gee, it's like what was really hidden inside this person I never really seen. Now it's like a gift, like a wish and dream come true because you got the star there. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what the bottom of the deck has to say. Intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart. So I do feel like, I mean, there is love here. But maybe I think the communication just wasn't the greatest. This just say intuitive which means you know um almost like 5d communicating like but not really communicating in 3d so like silent whispers of the heart so i think there was a lot in hidden in each other in your hearts that you weren't weren't really speaking of um i think you really had to work on your uh, communication here to bring it from 5d to from 5D whispers to 3D. And we have four and three, which is seven, which is a divinely guided number. And we have here, Ganesha is like a God. So divinely guided. And this does say protection. So divinely guided and protected. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Let's get some tarot. Let's clarify, let's clarify. This whole situation, hopefully spirit will back me up <laughs> and give me, uh, I feel like that was just the reading right here in itself. We could end it right here. Okay, Taurus, that's your reading. <laughs> what is it, like eight minutes? <laughs> okay, now let's get some tarot. All right, so why is Ganesha here for Taurus? Why is Ganesha here for Taurus? Somebody may have a um, soft spot for elephants, whether it's you or your person. Okay, I don't, I don't know where that came from. but Or maybe it can be um, some sort of symbol for you or your person. All right, so why is Ganesha here for Taurus? Page of Wands. So there's good news coming in. There's communication, passionate communication. Um, it could be ideas. It can be, you know, communication of something new. Um, I feel like maybe you are the one to set forward and say, hey, you know what? I really want to work on this. Uh, I have an idea. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's work on it. Like coming forward. 
Let's clear away those obstacles that aren't serving us here. Because you see the trees in the background with fruit on them, growth, abundance. So, yeah, let's, you know, let's work on this. Let's clear away these obstacles. Let's make this more stable. And having more growth and abundance in this connection. So what is this hidden gift with your person? The Knight of Cups. Yeah, so I feel like they, you know, because they have, like, they're, now you have your back to each other. So I feel like you, it's like... <laughs> intuitive communication like you're thinking it you're both thinking things but you weren't communicating it like everything I just said about wanting to work it work this through clear away that but not telling them because your backs are to one another and they're like knight of cups okay well the page of wands yes fire uh, Leo Sagittarius and now we have cups uh, cancer Scorpio Pisces but it doesn't have to be so the knight here gets up and takes action comes forward with either you know love proposal, uh, you know, words of affection and love, you know, just movement and love forward. Or it could be apology or loving communication, whatever, you, but they take action. So, I mean, you both are kind of like in the same energy, but not communicating that because your backs are to one another. But they also have, you know, ending and a new beginning. So I do think like you want to wanted to communicate, but not saying it, and they want to take action Maybe bring their cups somewhere else, but not telling you that either. Oh boy. So, I don't know what happened here that brought these back together, but let's find out. Or if this is your situation, then I don't know. So, let's see why the Page of Wands is here. The Nine of Wands in reverse. So the Nine of Wands talks about, um, you know, having your guard up and being defensive and, you know, fighting when you need to. You know, you're a wounded warrior, but you keep fighting, fighting, fighting on, and you don't give up. But, you know, the Nine of Wands here could, up in reverse, could be, you know, letting down your guard. Like, no longer fighting. Like, I don't want to fight anymore. I'm going to let down my let down my guard now and, break, you know, let down this barrier between us. All right, so let's, it's too many. So why is the Knight of Cups here for your person? What is the Knight of Cups here for your person? Yeah, the Five of Cups, exactly, because they're feeling sad, lonely, hurt, um, sadness there. But I mean, the, there's still two cups standing in the background, so I mean, this still can be saved. They're not seeing that. So they're just thinking about quitting and moving on and leaving. And you're ready to let down your guard and communicate, you know, I want to work on this. Let's work it out. But with the backs to one another, like I said, not like for some reason communicating that. So let's get more on the actual situation. Taurus, let's get more on this actual situation. King of Cups, Kiss of Scorpio Pisces. So you definitely, yeah, the King of Cups, <laughs> he has love and emotions. He's in control of his feelings. He's in touch with his feelings, but sometimes he does not communicate his feelings and how he feels all the time. He shows it instead of says it. So maybe you're trying to show this person, but you're not telling them exactly. But there is love here. Oh, okay. So yeah, the the hanging man in reverse. So Cancer Pisces energy here. So that's right in the middle. And it's in reverse. So that's about coming out of a pause and a break and now taking movement. Like having that enlightenment now, seeing things in a new perspective. You know, there's been a pause and a break and no one's taking action, but I feel like you both want to take action. All right, so let's get one for their side. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the hard work, dedicated effort, working on it. No, oh, sorry, excuse me, working on it here. So deep down, they want to work on it too, 
but yet they're in an energy of, do I want to work on this or do, or do I want to just leave? And you're like, well, I love them and I want to work on it and I want to communicate how we can get past this. I'm ready to put my defenses down and my guard. It's either you or them, however this works. But the king, like I said, king of cups doesn't really communicate well. So you're so both ready to come out of this stillness and take some action of some kind here. All right, so and this person just may be feeling um, lonely because they're kind of like alone over here, alone over here. The Wheel of Fortune. So fate, destiny, Sagittarius energy here. doesn't have to be. Divine timing, fate, destiny, things going in a better direction, things turning. Ten, it's about an ending, but then there's always a new beginning. So yeah, I think if things turn, I mean, things need to turn here. The cycle needs to end of whatever this is going on here. If, you know, you both got like all these different energies, but nobody's talking like this one is I want to work, but then I want to leave. I want to work on it, but then I want to leave. But nobody's communicating. I want to work this out. I love them. I want to remove these obstacles and put my guard down. But yeah, I'm not telling them either. And you're both ready to take action in some way. But and here's the divine wheel being bringing in better uh, luck, fortune, things going in a better direction. So somebody needs to get this wheel turning. Somebody needs to get this wheel turning to work on this, to bring like the three of pentacles about working together. Because you got three up there working together, re, you know, coming together, uh, rejoicing, celebrating kind of energy. All right, so let's get one more for the situation here. So we now we have the seven of wands. So this is about, you know, being defensive and on guard. Uh, Leo Sagittarius energy doesn't have to be. Now we have your energy here with the pentacles over here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but doesn't have to be. So seven of wands here, you know, being defensive and on guard, having a stance, defending yourself, ready to fight. So maybe you just fight a lot or maybe, you know, that you feel like they're very defensive or they feel like you're very defensive all the time, like always have a guard on like a stance, ready to argue and fight. So maybe you just go in your separate corners. You know, I go in my room, I do my thing. They go in their own, you know, and they do their own thing here. Hmm, boy. So let's see what your advice is. So we got the two of pentacles. Again, we're juggling things around, trying to balance things out. And there's the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. That's you. So again, with Juggling, balancing, what to do, what to do, up and down, up and down, back and forth. I don't know what to do. Do I leave? Do I stay? Do I work on this? Back and forth, back and forth. The two is usually about making decisions, so the star. So I had said Aquarius over here, and here's the star. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. This is something divinely guided here. This is faith, hope optimism this is healing um wishes and dreams coming true you need to decide to decide what you want to do do you want to heal this you know you need to i think you need to remain positive have faith hope and optimism in this something here is divinely guided with the star making choices and decisions to your Happiness, divinely guided happiness. Wheel of Fortune is divinely guided, divinely ti divine timing. All right, so why is this here for your advice? Why is this here for your advice? Seven of Pentacles. So investing, you know, maybe you invested a lot in this person. You've been together for a while. Now things seem kind of still and stagnant. Seven of Pentacles is about, you know, planting the seeds, patiently waiting for the uh, crop to harvest, to bloom, to grow. So that's the energy patiently waiting, things being still right now. But, you know, reviewing and analyzing your investment uh, kind of energy. So like reviewing things, your options here, making a decision, what's divinely guided, what's the best for me, uh, what's my wish dream coming true. Uh, 
This definitely is our energy with the pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. All right, so what else for their advice? Now we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, wow, a lot of pentacle energy here, your energy. So this, I mean, you could be married to this person or just a long-term commitment. But this is uh, stability, growth, expansion. This is the whole happy home and family coming together, sharing all the resources, growth and abundance. Legacy of a family dynamic. So... Yeah, really, so your advice is to really decide what you want. Follow your heart. Follow, I'll say follow the stars, but, you know, just follow your heart here. Make decision best for you. You know, do you continue to invest in this? Because it can move to the Ten of Pentacles here. But right here is a hangman or reverse right in the middle. So someone needs to take action in this situation. So let's see what you would decide to do here. What is the possible outcome for you, Taurus? Will you... I feel like... Oh, I feel like you feel like they're... Your wish and dream come true. It's divinely guided to the Ten of Pentacles. And you've been... You've invested a lot in this. But for some reason, you're juggling things around like... I don't know how to like tell them because it's connected to the King of Cups who doesn't really say much. So it's like, I don't know how to tell them. I don't know how to open up to them. I don't know, or it's your person, you know, how to bring this open into the open to move forward. So this can be healed and we can move on to the Ten of Pentacles. I feel right now it's stuck at the seven. All right, so what is your outcome? What is your outcome? justice so libra energy here doesn't have to be so this could be just finally coming forward with truth and clarity communication balancing out the scales for some of you uh justice is sometimes legal matters it could be divorce for some or separation or breaking up for some you know working on this healing it bringing that truth clarity open communication doing what's just you know moral just and right bringing balance into the situation so let's see why justice is here the taurus let's see why justice is here for taurus yeah the eight of swords so we have mental entrapment and blockages here and you're stuck in your head about something stuck in your own thoughts can't get out of your own thoughts let's see why that's here why is the eight of swords here Five of Pentacles, feeling abandoned, neglected, lonely, left out in the cold. <sighs> so, I mean, it's looking like the outcome here is somebody could be left out in the cold. Somebody could decide just to leave this situation. And uh, somebody's going to be really stuck in their head about it, whether it's you or your person. Because you see, she's got a blindfold on there. So I still feel like just because somebody didn't have the balls to come forward and express themselves or communicate, I think this situation is going to not not have such a good ending. But the you know the energy is here with honest communication. This could heal and work out. Harmony could be brought back in. It could be a more productive connection if there was open, honest communication here, expressing how you truly feel, you know, clearing away obstacles, um, things that are not serving in this connection. Oh boy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Knight of Pentacles. So this is, you know, it's action, but it's, it's very, very slow action. This knight hardly even moves, so... Very, and this is your energy. So yeah, very slow moving energy, like maybe even stubborn. Maybe somebody's stubborn here because this night isn't even moving. And maybe your person just got tired of waiting for you to communicate or whatever on what do you want to do here. So they may just up and leave. And you find their Ten of Pentacles somewhere else. We do have justice here. 
But, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is just maybe an overthinker, you know, just overcalculates everything and just takes way too long. But usually, you know, this is a stable energy usually, and usually they're very um, practical and they make, uh, make a very slow, steady approach. Make sure they think things through thoroughly, that they're making the right decisions and choices. So, yeah, Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning in love, divinely guided here. Somebody may be slowly moving towards some other new love here because maybe you were taking too long and they found love somewhere else or you them or whatever here. But this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces, brand new beginning in love. And it's divinely guided. So, wow. And brand new beginning in passion. Passion brand new beginning here. Fire, Leo Sagittarius. So two brand new beginnings here. So you both may be finding something else elsewhere. So now you got fire, passion, and love. Seven of Cups. Yeah, a lot of confusion here. Options, choices, uh, decisions. Being very confused. And just walking away. So you, you or your person very confused about this whole situation. Deciding, you know what? I waited long enough. And somebody's moving on very slowly to brand new beginnings elsewhere. Whether it's you your person or both of you walking away. Now we got Sag energy again, temperance. Just about, you know, balancing things out, patience. Um, usually these bring, this angel brings the soulmates together. Um, but I don't know. I feel like Finding, I think you, you're finding balance or you or both of you somewhere else walking away to somewhere where you find there is more balance, peace, harmony, somebody more patient or you've been patient long enough and now, you know, I'm walking away. Too much confusion. Now walking away, you, them, both of you to other brand new passionate loving beginnings. Hmm. Because somebody was stubborn or was taking too long. Or slowly moving away to another direction here. Wow. Well, I thought the beginning there was going to be a good reading. But, uh, I don't know. So, okay, let's get some more oracles here for you, Taurus. I do say, Taurus, if you do like how I read in my style, to please uh, do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings so you don't miss out. I do four readings a month. I do a love connection, singles, who's coming towards you, uh, general tarot forecast, uh, could be about love, may not be. And I also do a spirit messages reading, uh, what you need to know from spirit at this time. So if you are interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. And check the description box below for all the information you need, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. And just thank you to everybody who supported the channel. If you subscribed, uh, reached out for personal reading, donated, whatever you did to support the channel, I truly appreciate it. I couldn't do it without you guys. So the more you support the channel in any way, the more it'll help the channel to grow and flourish and get the messages out to the people that need to hear them. Otherwise, YouTube doesn't support your channel and they do not circulate your readings or your channel. So it's very, very hard to grow and get the messages out. So thank you to everybody. All right, so let's get some extra messages. Ooh. So we do have here the angel of love. And nine and four is 13 and 13 is four, which is about foundation basis, uh, stability. So I do think this angel of love was trying to bring these two back together to work this out, heal, to mend it, to bring the justice back into the situation. But for some of you, I think somebody was stubborn or something and it just did not happen. Instead of working on it, I think some of you tried tried, and some of you didn't. But I do feel like there's going to be love for you elsewhere, you and your person. So now we have six chakra, Archangel Metatron. Four, again, with stability, basis foundation. So... That's your third eye. So that's, you know, being very in tune, in touch. Listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Uh, being in touch, in tune with your faith, your spirituality. 
divine um, connection there. So, yeah, for some of you, I think you've just really seen the situation for what it was after being in the hangman and being enlightened, like, you know what, this just isn't going to work anymore and decided to move on. Could be with the justice here. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So caring connections, wow. And broken heart underneath. So it could have been a caring connection at one time. But then it changed. One and four or five change. And then you have nine there. Can be about stress, anxiety. Again, uh, that wounded warrior energy. Uh, wishes and dreams coming true. Or it can be about um, being stable, secure on your own. So some of you could have been a caring connection at one time. But then the dynamic changed. And now it's just a broken heart kind of energy. Um but, I mean, you can find care and connection elsewhere because I think the angel of love is looking over this whole situation over the two of you as we do have protected over here. Oh, okay, Taurus. So I see some of you uh, just deciding to move on. This just isn't working anymore. Some of you may try to work it out. I think if some of you are indecisive whether or not to try, I think this can work out if you really put in the effort. If you feel like you really want to do that, I would say at least try. For some of you, you really feel like it's best just to part and move on. It's just not working anymore. So however the energy resonates for you. So best of luck to you here, Taurus. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.